Is this thing on? Let's see, I got my notes. Hey guys, welcome to Sketch a Day. I know it's been a minute. We've been going live almost every day, so that's where I've been. Hopefully you've been there. If you haven't, I'm back. I decided to put together a different video today, um, and I'll be doing a few more of these. Just a compilation of short tips. I get a lot of questions on the live streams, and I thought I would take a moment to answer a few of those questions. One of those questions I get quite a bit is, how do you overcome creative blocks? And that's what we'll be talking about today. But before we begin, I want you to hit that subscribe button, turn on alerts, and be sure to come say hi on the socials. I'm at sketchaday.com on Instagram and at daily sketches on the Twitter, the tweeter, the one that can't be beaten, something like that. I've been a designer for over a decade now. I've gone through a lot of projects. I've built furniture, architecture related product, interior design, toy design, consumer electronics, apparel, you name it. Being a creative person, you kind of have to make sure that your ideas can flow. It's taken me a long time, but I've figured out how I like to work. By necessity, when you're creative, you will find yourself hitting a wall from time to time. So you'll hit a creative block, okay? And sometimes it'll feel like your flow is hindered. Flow I'm defining as your state of mind when the difficulty of the task and your aptitude are well enough matched and balanced that your creative output can be uh, enhanced. Think of it that way. First thing I like to do when I have a creative block is to take a break. Now I could be drawing, I could be doing a photography based product, I could be working in my garage, whatever the case may be. If I feel as though the ideas aren't coming, if my problem solving skills aren't on par with where they should be, or on point rather, what I like to do is just take a break. So I'll actually go outside, take a walk, do something completely different. Sometimes that means playing my guitar. Sometimes it means just bouncing a ball. Sometimes you gotta give your brain, at least I find that I have to give my brain a chance to just chill out. And when I do, that's when the ideas can be kickstarted and come back to me. The second thing I've found that's super helpful when I have a creative block is to get some feedback. So sometimes as a designer, especially if you're like me and you're independent and you're working on a problem, it's good to get some feedback, some outside perspective. I know for me personally, I can get into my own little world and get really siloed and focused in. Sometimes that's when I do my best work, but also sometimes that's when my blind spots are overpowering. I might not even be able to see them. Sounds like an oxymoron, but my blind spots aren't as easy to see, but they're there. Getting feedback from someone you trust, someone who's willing to challenge your point of view and perspective is awesome. I have a few friends like that. I've got my sister. I've got even my kids that I can ask, hey, what do you think about this? Get someone to take a look at your work because that's gonna help challenge your point of view. And also uh, sometimes just having a conversation can really get things flowing again. The third thing that I've found helpful is to just try a different approach. So I draw a lot on the channel. Sometimes I draw with pens, sometimes I draw with pencil, sometimes it's digital. What I've found is that depending on the tool, my mind almost enters a different state. With digital tools, I tend to be a bit more hesitant than I would be with a pen. With a pencil, I also enter a different thought process or state of mind, if you will. So I've noticed that the tool matters. The other is it might be the program, it might be how I'm I'm tackling the problem itself. Just trying something different, asking yourself, what if? What if I did this? What if I did that? I found that that can really open up pathways for your creativity. And my fourth unofficial tip is just, just take a nap. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to sleep. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and were able to get something out of it. So remember, if you're having a creative block, if you're having trouble figuring out a problem, drawing, whatever it is, take some time to just walk away, do something else, play a video game, bounce a ball, play guitar, whatever. Ask for feedback, have some friends or enemies, whoever, someone you can show your project to, ask them what they think. It's even better when it's not someone who does what you do. Um, get that outside perspective. Try a different angle, try a different approach, a different tool, a different program, a different space to work in even. Try those things and see if they help you overcome your creative blocks. I'm a little bit rusty doing the pre-recorded stuff, but I want you to be sure to check out 
sketch a day live and how do you do that well you need to subscribe and turn on alerts i have a crazy schedule i'm a full-time single parent and so i go live when i can go live so your best bet is to subscribe turn on those alerts but we're here most days if not every day on the channel drawing whatever we want to draw and i take suggestions from you guys we chat we hang out and all of that good stuff if you love the channel and you want to support what I'm doing, there are now memberships as well as you can sign up on patreon.com slash sketchaday if you prefer. I will see you next time right here on Sketchaday.